In this tutorial, we are going to model this robot in Blender. Let's dive in. Create a UV sphere by pressing Shift A with 32 segments and then rotate this 90 degrees like so and tap into edit mode go to wireframe and select these faces and then press f to flatten these faces and then press i for inset and then e to extrude inside the model like so and then i'm pressing s to scale it down a little bit and then press i again and extrude inside like so and i for inset extrude outside i i'm just repeating the process like so and this time i'm going more inside the model by pressing i for inset and extrude inside and again twice i'm going down and i think it's okay this is going to be i for robot also i'm going to apply the subdivision surface we are using some sharp edges so apply some bevel to our edges for example here and here we can add a small amount of bevel um, like so and with two segments like this and as you can see now we have a sharp edge and also here i'm going to add a bevel like this and then selecting these two edge loops and apply a small amount of bevel like so with two segments all right also here and then here again i'm going to add bubbles small amount to keep the sharpness like this also i'm going to add edge loops here and here to protect our bubbles and let's continue here i'm going to leave this uh, as it is and here and here i'm going to again add bubble like this and here these edges again i'm going to add bubbles all right like this so we can right click and shade and smooth the model so i'm going to apply the cavity to see whether our model also here i'm going to apply a bubble one segment bubble like this small amount and i'm going to go to face mode and right click extrude faces along normal and extrude inside the model like this and then select these loops and again small amount of bevel two segments like this all right i'm going to do the same thing here bevel one segment bevel like this and face right click and extrude inside the model and then select these two edge loops and small amount of bevel like this there we go also we need to add a um glass um shield here so let's add another uv sphere like this and I scale it down go to wireframe scale it down like this right click and shade it smooth 
and tap into the edit mode and select these pieces so we can grow our faces by pressing ctrl plus and then delete the faces like this let's go to the other side of our model tap into the edit mode and select these faces and then press f to fill this faces and then press i for inset and then extrude inside to your model and a little inset inside and it can go outside and then again let's make an inset like so or maybe a scale down and go inside i e again i and e and like this or maybe we can scale this to uh scale this up to make this gap smaller to do that press Control and plus to grow your selection your face selection like this and then press s for a scale but you need to press shift and x to uh, exclude the scale to x axis and scale it like this all right and then we need to apply some level so select this and this or maybe do that individually so let's apply the bevel for this edge and then for this edge loop like so and then select these edge loops also maybe these two inside here and then these edges and then press ctrl b two segments bevel like this also, I'm going to select this face and a little inset inside, like this. And don't forget to save your model. And then let's add some elements through here. So add a cube, scale it down. And then go to edit mode. Select all, scale it to Y axis, like so. And I'm going to apply a bevel for this edge one segment and for this edge a bigger one like so and also maybe here like this and then uh, let's isolate this by pressing a slash and deleting these faces like this and then select this face and i for inset and shift b to change these um inset like this and then extrude inside and then also uh, delete this face like so all right and then let's go back by pressing a slash and then put this right here and maybe something like this or we can escape it to Y axis, something like this. And let's go to edit mode and select these vertices and put it right here. All right. And then I'm going to copy this two times. So select this one. And before that, we need to put the origin from here, from the center of our object to the uh, center of the world or center of this sphere so uh, the center of the world and the sphere are the same so we can right click to the object and set the origin to the 3d cursor which is here and then press shift d to make a copy and before you apply your copy press r for rotation and then press 120 degrees and press enter and then press shift r to repeat our process like so so now let's go for the upper part of our model go to edit mode and select these faces and ctrl plus to grow your selection maybe here and do an inset like so and now for make this a circle we need to use a add-on called loop tools uh, you need to check this turn this on 
and after you uh, turn this on you can right click here and you have the option loop tools and then use the circle and we have the circle all right let's press f to make it flat and then press i and go down pretty much the same process which we did before again go down in inset scale it up and and doing some bubbles maybe a bigger one here also here and shift r also again i'm going to make these gaps smaller so let's select these faces and scale but we need to press shift z to exclude the z axis for the scale and scale it like this also press ctrl and minus to shrink your selection and again s shift z and scale it up like this and i think it's okay and then we need to apply small amount of bubbles for these edge loops Control v two segments and a small amount and here we go or maybe we can uh, make this circle smaller so same thing we did before select this one Control plus to um grow your selection s shift z and scale it down like so or maybe we can do this for these faces too scale it down shift z and like this we can add some circular elements here so add a uv sphere scale it down small objects even more so go to isolate mode by pressing the slash tab into edit mode and select these faces and delete them go back and wait right here scale it down like so right click shade is smooth we need to rotate this through here so right click set the origin to 3d cursor like before and shift d r in 45 degrees and then shift r to repeat our process like this uh, maybe we can do some extrusion for these two parts so go to edit mode and grow your selection by pressing ctrl plus and let's see ctrl plus to here all right and then g uh, to z axis and then ctrl minus to shrink your selection like so until here and again another extrusion like this all right and then we need to select these spheres and put them right here now for the side of our robot go to edit mode and select these faces ctrl plus to grow your selection like before right click and circle like this and then press f to make it flat and then press shift d to make a copy and p and selection to uh, separate this from your model and put this aside like this go back to edit mode for this part and select these edges and ctrl b small amount of bevel like so and then select this face inset 
inside extrusion and then delete this face. Also select this edge loop and add a bubble. Also maybe a edge loop here. And then go for this part. Um, put this maybe here. Go to edit mode, select these face, extrude, and then insert and move this here. All right. And then an extrusion inside, a little insert, and extrude outside, and and insert maybe here again an insert extrude inside insert extrude outside and also a insert here extrude insert extrude out and scale it down like this all right now let's add some bevel for example here and do bubble like this and also select this and make an insert here and then let's select these edge loops like before another small amount of bubble two segments and like so also let's go for this face and delete this and let's select these edge loops Control f grid fill and spam for six time and we can offset this maybe here and then select these edges and Control b for one segment like this and then select these two m and at last to merge them together also these two and shift r to do the same operation and then select these faces extrude inside like this and then select these edges and also these edges and control b to segment bevel like this i'm going to select these and double g to put them here also these two double g Put them here and now press k and select these together right click and then select these two together right click and then enter and let's check this out we need to merge this two connect these two press j and this is fine so here is fine and also these two and press j and let's see also we need to add some circular things here so let's add a cylinder scale it down small object again scale it down like this maybe press slash oops press slash here to make it isolated go to edit mode and delete this one and select these edges and scale it up like so and select this face, I for inset, and scale it down, and again, I for inset. Also, I'm going to add some bubble right here and shade this mode. Let's go back to object mode and select this. So, we need to snap this on these faces. So, let's turn on the snap and put this on face, center, and align rotation to target. So when I'm moving this on this face, as you can see, it's snap on this face, but it will snap this origin into these faces. So you can just move this around. So go to edit mode and select all by pressing A. And I'm going to, oops, let's turn this off for the moment. And I'm going to put this around here. So this is the center of our object actually it's the origin of our object so select this one g and i need to turn this on g and put this right here so i'm going to approximately put this almost at the center like this and then i'm going to make a copy through this circle 
circular shape. So as before, right click, set the origin to the 3D cursor, which is here, and shift the R and 30 degrees, and then enter and shift R to repeat our process, like so. And then I'm going to select them all, deselect this one, and Ctrl J to make this one object. And we can just um, mirror this to the other side. So select this, mirror, select this object as the target, and to Y axis. Also, this one, mirror, this is the target, and the Y axis, like so. And also a mirror for this part like this all right now let's create our turret so let's make a cylinder with 18 vertices let's go to isolate mode scale down and rotate this 90 degrees and scale this to x-axis like this and also apply the scale tab into edit mode and delete these two faces and also add some edge loops like this all right and then select these faces actually these two and pass two and then these two pass two and like this pass one row and then select these faces and again select these And then I'm going to right click and apply the circle. And also I turn off the flatten. And I'm going to scale this up a little bit. So I put this origin to individual origin and S for scale. And I scale this up a little bit like this. And press I for inset and then X and delete the faces like so. And then we can add the subdivision surface modifier for two level and right click shade is smooth like so also we can add the solidify modifier and scale this up a little bit like this so let's extend this model so select this edge e for extrude and press e again and escape s for scale like so and extrude this like this and then E and escape, then S, scale this inside. Let's turn off the subdivision for surface in the edit mode for now. Also, we can turn this off too, and then extrude this to X axis, like so. And then I'm going to press E for extrude, escape for canceling this, and then S. To scale it down, and then I'm going to extrude this inside to X axis, and then E again, escape and S for a scale, and extrude this again to X axis. So I'm going to extend this to here, and then again E and S for a scale, and again another extrusion here and e escape and s, s for scale and then another extrusion here also e escape and s and extrude inside like so also i'm selecting these two edge loops and before that we need to change these two bonding box center so s and x axis to scale this like so here we go now we need to apply some bevel so select these edges and these and apply a small amount of bevel for two seconds like before and then i'm going to 
add some holes to this section so add two edge loops here and scale these to x axis like so and then select these faces by holding alt and click here and go to select and check your deselect like this and press i for inset and right click extrude faces along normals like so and also press r again for add a edge loop here and also another one right here and then we need to select these faces and delete them and then x and faces so now let's go back to our model by pressing slash and scale this down and put this right here we can just move this like so and put this outside we can change the scale as we want we can scale this down like this and maybe we can scale this down i think it's this one can be smaller so select these and s and press shift x to exclude the x axis and scale it down like so now i think it's better or maybe we can scale this down and also this part i think can be smaller and this one too also we can do the mirror modifier for the turret too so let's add a mirror and this is the target object and to y axis also let's make this part closer to this section again go to edit mode and isolate this and then we don't need these edge loops let's dissolve these edges and then select these and move this closer to this part right i think for the protection maybe we need to add an edge loop here protect this part and let's go back we need to add something to the end of our turret so to do that let's add the origin to the turret so press shift s cursor to selection and then make a cylinder with 32 vertices rotate this 90 degrees and scale it down like so put this here scale it down like this and scale this to x axis and then apply the scale by pressing ctrl a and we don't need the caps end part and let's delete the faces and then let's select these edges and then press e escape and s for a scale extrude and e escape and s for a scale this up in other extrusion here and then I'm going to scale this down like this and then E and I scale this down again like this. Or maybe we can do this another time here. So put an edge loop here and control B and go to face and execute this along normal like so. And then we need to add some bubbles for these edges and here and also here and here control b small amount two segments like before and shade is smooth also you can add the subdivision surface for two levels so i'm going to scale this up a little bit and put this here maybe scale it up a little 
All right, and also I'm going to add a mirror modifier, but before that, let's go back and add a mirror and select this object and to Y axis like this. Also, I'm selecting these two and put them right here. Now let's add a cube and scale this to Y axis and scale it down, put it here a little bit up like so and maybe to the axis and then go to isolate mode also let's apply the escape by pressing ctrl a go to edit mode and um, press ctrl alt and click this edge to do a ring selection and then ctrl b for bubble like this and select these two faces i for inset and right click extrude to normals like so and then press ctrl r for two edge loops here and then we need to flatten this through the axis so s z and zero to flatten this and select these and shift r to repeat the process and then we need to put them here and maybe more like so and then select this face and turn on the snap to vertices and turn off the line rotation to target and then press alt e extrude manifold and select this vertex and i think we can scale this to y-axis like this and also z-axis like so and apply the scale let's go back and we have something like this also we can put this more inside so let's turn off the snap then we can go more inside the model like this and make this smaller maybe like so and then let's add a section inside the sphere. Again, add a cylinder and rotate this 90 degrees, scale it down like so. And put this here, scale this to Y axis like this, and also apply the scale. So let's go to isolate mode. We don't need this part. Let's delete this face. Let's select this face and inset inside like this and also extrude inside and delete this face also add a edge loop here and another edge loop here like this and select this double g put it here Control b one segment bevel like this and go to face extrude this inside and also select these edge control b in a small amount of one segment bubble and also select this face and extrude inside and then let's do bubbles so select these edges and add a control b two segment bubble a small amount i'm going to at a subdivision surface shade the smooth and again go back to edit mode turn off this subdivision surface to edit mode and i'm going to add a bevel like this and maybe we can scale this down but exclude the y-axis like this and let's add another bubble here two segments like so also we can add another one segment bubble here like this and apply the bubble for these edges like so here we go 
and let's go back we need to set the origin to the work and then select this and selection to cursor and then put this here let's isolate these models and and let's go back and let's isolate these two can I scale oops you can I scale this up like so and let's go back maybe we can select this go to edit mode and select these vertices and put them here move this inside a little bit like so also select these two objects and move it here and these two and move this around here all right and also i'm adding another cylinder and move this 90 degrees scale this down and put it right here and scale it down like so and scale this to y axis and we can move this here and apply the scale and shade is smooth also we can delete these two faces let's go back we can copy these modifiers from this object so select this cylinder and select this one and control l and copy modifiers like so let's select these two and isolate so select this one go to edit mode extrude inside a little in i for inset and again extrude inside i for inset and extrude up i and go down like so and then we can select these and add a one segment bevel like so do the bevel for these edges two segments small amounts all right we can again scale this down so select these polygons s and exclude the y-axis and scale this down like this all right let's go back from the isolate mode and control s don't forget to save and also i'm going to select this chef d copy a rotate 180 degrees and put this here select these edge loop and press f cap the model and here we go also we need to add a mirror for this one too to y-axis and here we go i think we need to rescale this part so select these objects and scale them down and put it here and also select this one and I scale it down to z axis and also to y axis like this right here and also to x axis like so or maybe we can put this right here and select this one we need to also select these two and reposition like this and also again we scale this to y-axis 
and move this around here and like so. Also, these two objects and put this around here. Let's see. And let's apply the scale for this one. All right. Let's add in more details. Add a cylinder. Scale it down. Let's isolate. Scale it down. Scale it down to Z axis. Apply the scale. Have into edit mode. We don't need this face. And select this face. And insert here. And extrude inside. Insert and extrude outside. Also select this loop and add an extrusion. Select this loop and control B for one segment bubble and select the face and extrude inside like so. And then select these edges and scale this up like so. And then select these loops, control B like so this face inset and these edge loops control v like so maybe we can select these loops draw your selection and scale this and exclude the z axis and scale this down like so and also select these and scale this up and move this up like this also we can select these grow your selection move this up like so and then select this one delete this face select this edge loop Control f and fill grid like this and then select um these edges Control v for one segment bubble and then join this together M at last and these two shift R and then select these faces extrude inside and then select these edges and control B two segments bevel and also select these two vertices double g to a slide also these two double g to a slide and then k for the knife and join this together let's hit enter we need to slide this more like here and then k and the knife tool hit enter and then let's check this need to do nothing all right so let's add the subdivision surface to level and shade is smooth also we need to add some bubble for these parts and small amount as we did before so here we go also let's go to edit mode select them all and move this around here all right so let's go back and move this down here and rotate this 180 degrees and let's turn on the snap and put this on face and center Align rotation to target and put this around here. Let's go down and scale down like this. Put this here. Also, we can rotate this. So press R for rotation, Z, and rotate this like so. Also, we can add a mirror modifier. 
like this as target and to y axis and we can put this around here also i'm going to add another mirror and select this as the target and to z axis something like this now let's add the handles so add the plane isolate mode tab in and select these vertex Control i to invert your selection and x delete the vertices go back to object mode and right click set the origin to the geometry let's go out of the isolate mode and put the vertex here and also here go to edit mode and select the vertex press e to extrude and again another e for extrusion through here also select this vertex and add another extrusion here and select this and these vertices ctrl shift b to apply a bevel like so and then go to object mode object and convert this to the curve then go here under the object data properties under the geometry and under the bevel we can increase the depth like so and maybe more like this and then i'm going to convert this into the mesh and i'm going to add the mirror and then right click set the origin to the 3d cursor and then turn on the bisect and the flip and then apply the mirror so let's select these vertices and move this around here or maybe put this here and extrude this like so and then select these faces and right click extrude faces along normals like this all right then we need to select these loops edge loops and then operate a small bubble like so and also we don't need these faces and then let's apply the subdivision surface and shade it smooth let's go back i'm going to rotate this 180 degrees like this so move this around here again let's add a mirror modifier and select this sphere as a target and to y-axis let's add another handle here this is the same process so add a plane go to edit mode and select this vertex Control i and delete go to edit mode and let's put the origin to the geometry go back and put this right here go to edit mode select this press e to extrude and another e to extrude here and then select this vertex and control b for bevel and bevel like this and then go back to object mode select the object and convert this to curve and then go to the object data properties under the geometry and under the bevel increase the depth and then again convert this to the mesh and go to edit mode select these vertices and extrude this like so and then select these faces and extrude this along normal and select these edges and operate a bubble and also we can delete these faces and go to modifier and apply a mirror 
right click here set this to 3d cursor and to the y-axis and select the y sec and apply the modifier also apply the subdivision surface for tool level and shade smooth so select these and put this here and put the origin to the geometry and rotate this like so and and you can scale this down i'm not happy with the size so i'm going back and scale this up like this all right and and then select the mirror to the y-axis set the origin to the 3d cursor like this and turn on the bisect and apply the modifier and then set the origin to the geometry rotate this like so and put this right here and now we can scale this down like this put this around here we can add the subdivision surface and the smooth like so and also again we can add the mirror this is the target object and to z axis like this so we can change this to here the last thing i'm going to add is some wires so add a bezier curve and move this around here rotate this and go to edit mode and select this rotate this 90 degrees negative All right let's get it down and also rotate this like this moving this around and i'm going to select these two right click and subdivide select so this one put this here scale it up go to object data properties under the geometry and bevel and add a depth to this and then put this around here go to edit mode select this one put this here and also this one here scale it down and I scale this down too, like so, and turn down the depth, like this. Also, I'm going to do a copy, put this here, and I scale down the depth, and move this to here and also this one here let's scale it down and put it up here like so and maybe here i'm going to put this down and also this one it's down here and I scale this up and also add another one and copy this here in a little adjusting Maybe this one is right here and a little thicker, like so. Also, let's add a mirror modifier for this one. Don't forget to do this to Y axis. So basically we just done the modeling here 
we will add more details into our object in the substance painter we add alphas and decals to this model we add the details to our textures so don't worry about this in the next part we are going to unwrap this model bake and create textures in material for this create the scene render and maybe some post-processing i'm so excited about part two so stay tuned for that and also thank you so much for your support we are now more than a thousand and thanks for watching this tutorial if you have any question please ask in the comment section below i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i will see you in the next part